In this video, we're going to look at how we can set up an LLM, a large language model, directly on our iPhone or iPad. Now, I did not create this or credit to, I think it's Masik who shared this on LinkedIn, but we're going to do a video walkthrough in showing you how you can actually set this up on your own device. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is install test flight um, app through the app store. So if you go to the app store, just search for test flight, you'll see it's by Apple. You'll open that up and it'll bring up a screen saying ready to test. Jump back to the tutorial and the next page that we're going to be opening is the LLM farm website. And when you go to that page, click on install with test flight and you can accept that and install. And once that's installed, just open it up, click next, start testing and you set up. So you can see on the left hand side, you've got a little panel with some settings. We're going to come to that next. After that, we want to, we can close off that tab and we're going to come to hugging face to a URL here, which is Mistral 7B instruct v0.1 and if you scroll down and the model we want is mistral-7b-instruct-v.01-ggguf so it's this one just directly in the middle and when you click on that then have an option to download it and it'll start downloading to your device you do need um, over four gigs of uh, space and about eight gigabytes of ram once that's downloaded, we're going to go back into LLM farm and on the left hand side, we're going to open that dashboard. We're going to go to settings, models, and we're going to add a model. Now find that model that you saved to your files and click on that and it will install it onto the LLM farm app. Now in the tutorial it does explain that this will then duplicate that file. So you can go and delete it from the folder that you downloaded it to. The next step is we're going to click on chats. We're going to click on plus. We're going to select a model and we're going to select uh, the Mistral 7B that we downloaded. In the prompt format, we're going to change that section that has the prompt in the double curly brackets. And you're going to replace it with the prompt details that's provided in the tutorial. So you can simply copy and paste that. Leave those settings as they are. Change the prediction options to enable metal and M lock K. I don't know what they do, but apparently that's important. And then just click add at the top. Now you should be able to um, start a chat now. So when you click on the actual model, that will then start a chat. Now, this runs completely locally on your device, so you don't need to be connected to the internet. So let's turn off the Wi-Fi now. We don't have any data on this device. So Wi-Fi is off, airplane mode is on. So this is completely disconnected from the internet. And we're going to now come back to the chat and we have an option to type in a message. So we can say hello. And the first time this happened to me, as well it said failed to load model so what I needed to do was actually close that app and then open it one more time so once you open it the next time come back into the chat and it should work so let's just say hi and the first time loading is a little bit slow you can see it says model loading and in the background it's kind of bringing everything together I suppose but after the first load it is a lot quicker so we got hi how can we assist you today and great um can you help me create a strategic plan for a non-profit question mark certainly here are some key steps to create a strategic plan for a non-profit organization define your mission and vision um access your assess your current position set goals and objectives so the quality of this is probably been said to around ChatGPT 3.5, but the fact that it can run locally on an iPhone or an iPad without access to the internet is pretty amazing. 
I uh, just started exploring this. I think there's so much potential, so much fun that we can have with this. The last point I'll just point out is if on the top right you click that little uh, reset button and it just does the tick, the low, the chat interface doesn't actually reset. So if you're familiar with ChatGPT or another chatbot, normally that whole interface resets. It doesn't. It only it refreshes the model, but for some reason the actual chat doesn't reset. So when you click hi again, often then has to reload that whole model. So it starts off a little bit slower, but from there you can do whatever you like. So give it a go and, and see what you think. As I said, all credit to um, Masik, I think from on LinkedIn who shared this, but really I think this is just a glimpse into the future. Google's released Gemini, which has a smaller model that's going to work on phones as well. So it's really exciting to see what next year has in store for us. So give it a try. As I said, if you've got any questions, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you in the next video.